Governor, turn with me to page 384 of our volume 2. Under paragraph 4, that is the response by the County Public Service Board to the clerk of the County Assembly. You will agree with me that in that response, the County Public Service Board states, and I quote, the board is the appointing authority according to Section 64 of the County Government Act. Not disputed. And the board, however, was not involved in the appointment of the acting chief officers as per the act. You agree with me? At least that is apparent on the face of the document, correct? Maybe. You agree? I'm not the one that was writing to them. No, but you agree that is what the board says, Governor? That is yes, obvious. according to the letter. Okay. So the board, the County Public Service Board, actually dissolves your appointment and says that the appointments of the 17 chief officers whom you, whom you have appointed on the 23rd of August, most of whom are in acting capacity, was done without its involvement. Correct? And to me, the board, the role of so the board... So no question, Governor, so that we move. Answer. the role of the board is to give advisory to the end of county public service. But the role of the board is to give, is to recommend for appointment to you so that you appoint. The powers reside in you, not the county secretary. We agree on that, Governor. Mm -hmm. So, and the board disowns those appointments and says that you did not consult the board in making the appointments. You specifically. Because you are the appointing authority. And I specifically did not appoint any person. I think... <laughs> Madam Speaker, we are constrained to seek your direction because we believe the rules of cross-examination is that a witness answers questions, they don't tell stories, and the reason we seek your direction and perhaps invocation of your powers and the relevant standing order is that we believe this witness is engaging us in an altercation, knowing very well our time is very limited, so that we don't have the opportunity to put to her all the relevant questions that we need to put. Uh, Madam Governor, please answer the questions as asked. Council, I have never appointed Ma Madam any Speaker, of this. Uh, Madam Speaker, just hold on. Council, can you ask the question and can she answer it? Madam Governor, my question is, the County Public Service Board has disowned your appointments. Not my appointment. Who is the appointing authority? The person who has signed here. So, Governor, are you saying you have abdicated your roles as Governor and you delegated your authority to appoint to the County Secretary? I have not delegated. So, who appointed these officers? Is it you or the County Secretary? The County Secretary. Okay. So, Governor, you're saying, you're saying, you're telling this Honorable House that as Governor, you can delegate your statutory authority to appoint the Chief Officers Just a moment, uh, Madam Speaker. I want to show you, you can turn to our volume three, or maybe I can just show you our volume three. It's a, it's a small bundle with a green cover. The appointment of county chief officers. Governor, you will agree with me on 45, section 45, it reads as follows, that whenever a vacancy arises in the office of the county chief officer, the respective governor shall within 14 days nominate qualified and experienced county chief officers from among persons competitively sourced and recommended by the county public service board and with the approval of the county assembly, appoint county chief officers. You agree? That is the law. 
Where is the law governor? You agree? Council, I agree. Very well, very well.